Okay guys, so this is a super easy fix. This is one of the Sony X-Pro or the Godox X-Pro um, flash triggers. What happens is the bottom of these things break off and then you're not getting uh, the camera to work in aperture priority mode. It's not firing at the flash, so you might have to do manual mode. Or you're actually shooting in manual mode, but your metadata shows that the flash trigger didn't go off on this. So this is actually a really easy fix. Uh, this is one of the replacement flash triggers that I got directly from eBay or you get it from Alibaba. This will take about probably a month to come in unless someone has it in stock. If you've ever replaced anything Sony related on any LCD screens, this is something you get used to seeing. All you're gonna need for this is truthfully just one tool. I've uh, got these from Amazon. This has a plus two, um, but really it's just a small, small, small screw that you're gonna put in here to replace it. Um, what you are going to do is there's two screws here and here to loosen this up. Um, so we're gonna put that guy in there and start to loosen it up on one side. Pretty much good to go already. And then we're gonna go hop over here to the other side, which doesn't take much time at all. Um, so from there, um, you've got this thing taken apart. <laughs> if things don't fall apart first, there's two little um, wires here. I don't know the correct term, but these two little wires you're gonna detach. This ribbon cord one pulls apart super easy. This one, you also pop off just like that. Here's your chipboard for everything, and then here's the hearts of it. So what you do is you take this chipboard, set it aside. You don't need it for now, but make sure you don't touch anything. Um, once you come over here back to your unit, you're gonna take the same plus two or mini screwdriver and there is four screws on the inside of here that we're gonna use to take it apart. So again, quick, quick little thing. Okay, once you've got this apart, there is a little uh, red flash trigger, like cover. <laughs> once you got this taken apart, once you get this taken apart, there is a little red flash trigger cover that you can pop off. I know sometimes I end up losing them and no longer have them on. Um, but there's gonna be two more screws on the inside of here that you're gonna use the same screwdriver for again, just to replace this all. Super easy. Um, so you're gonna take this guy out and this is gonna be transferred over to your next unit, kinda hard to focus on right now, but it was inside of here. So you're gonna take this and uh, swap it over to this. Um, this was actually my broken one. And what happens is these things get a little break and then you're having issues with flash working and everything. So I've actually already replaced this, but it's just as simple as what we just did. So here's the new one. I'm just gonna put it right back into place. You're not gonna do anything too complex. Make sure to not hurt that ribbon cord that does send all your signals. Okay, and then on the way back, when you're putting this all together, <clears throat> these screws that are sitting inside of this plate are gonna go back into place. So you could, you know, pinch these two together and pull them through, make it nice and easy. And let's get this put back together on here. Again, super simple. Just get these four screws into place. All right, so once you've got all this put back together, you're gonna take your chipboard. You're gonna take your chipboard here and you're going to get everything clipped back in. I do the ribbon cord first and then do this other flash trigger cord in there. So let's just put these together. Super easy. Hopefully you guys can at least get somewhat of a view here. I'm pinching 
the ribbon cord and putting it back into place. And so that goes in there, super simple. Nothing too complex about that. And then take this next one. Put it in. So if your batteries are still in, you can do a quick test. Everything still works on there and that's all good to go. So now you've got a fixed X-Pro model in a couple minutes, even with a couple of hiccups like I had right there, but that will save you from buying a new one of these. These things are like 70 bucks new or um, it's like $20 for one of these new replacement pieces. So if that helps you guys with your photography, give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Till next time, peace.